Then I got high. I put the same shirt on, I realize now. Oh well. I don't care. Hey, Tyrone. In. Today was a shitty day, but, you know, we'll figure it out. not really what I want to do, but it's what I need to do. I should have done it six months ago, but I'm an idiot, so, you know. Here we are. Yeah, I'm just gonna lose my ass, too. Hey, too. So, that sucks, but it's better than losing it, you know? Which is the direction I'm gonna get to eventually. But no, we're not gonna buy anything. I won't make. I like I said. I'll, if I can, the goal, the hope is that I can sell it and break even. The reality is, I'll probably end up upside down. But Yeah, it does, but be careful. It's really easy to out-level your gear. You've probably already done it. It's a shame on you. You said the queen's death didn't affect it? Oh, that's good, hardcore. I was worried. 
I'm really worried. Hey, Flirty. I think I'm going to take a nice jog to town just to pass the time. See what I didn't check the orders. Da, 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 da. Got a fucking stupid headache that I hope goes away. Another long night day ahead of me. Oh, there is an order for a big old grassy. I got one. Give me a hundred bucks. Shit, I didn't make bad money actually. And now the business went under? Yeah, that's... I remember when Kmart went out in a business. It must have been tough. Have I had enough hot water? I think so. I just drank a whole water. This reminds me of my summer car. Like I left a case of beer laying on the side of the road. Oh, I hear my bells jingling, ever so gently. Hear it? Jingle, jingle, might be two. No, I think it's one. It is two. Took Alice to the fair for a little bit and slammed a water there because that's what I was thinking was going to be the, the cause. What'd you get, Mr. Stonefly? I can't see. I think that's upside down. Oh, it's a buffalo. Isn't it? No. What is it? Is that a buffalo? <laughs> it's a buffalo or a trophy? It's a buffalo. Why didn't you suggest this earlier? These motherfuckers always holding out on me. Oh no, they're gonna message me. Oh wait, it's not a black buffalo. It's a regular buffalo. Rocky Dog. There's all these new people. What happened there? It was working for grassies and some Ghiblis. But now I want to change. <coughs> How big does the buffalo get? I don't even know. That one was a uh, decent size. 1.9% to 100. I'm 
opened at 1.9. I only got 0.3 during my happy hour, which was disappointing. Uh, the fishing started pretty good, and then it went to shit with the rainy night. got real cold. Buffalo trophy at 15. Oh. So 8 was okay. Happy hour debate. Yeah, it w I mean, it went okay. I caught 30 fish. That's not the worst I've ever done. Just probably 28 of them in the first 30 minutes. I don't even know what I have on there for ground bait. I have some random ground bait on there too, huh? Oh. I don't know. What is, what is that? Well, I think that's uh, gibble bait. They're into it. I had one named Buffalo. Buffalo question mark. It's just got like bugs in it and some krill pellets. <laughs> Yay! Wait, isn't Canada's anthem have God Save the Queen in it too? No, that's God Save Our Land. Which I always thought was very funny. It sounds like a desperate plea in the Canadian anthem. Didn't hook up. Feels bad. God, please. Save our land. Oh, is it keep our land? Oh. Either way, it sounds like a desperate plea. You forgot you begged to Jesus? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Keep our land glorious and free. You just beg. You're not going to defend it yourself. But God, please. I only know it because hockey. There's also a weird pause right there, right? Where it goes, God, keep our land. <laughs> and then glorious and free. This kind of shit. Are there any national anthems that aren't? I don't know. Coolest national anthem. Oh, well, I don't believe you. 
Apparently Russia has the best national anthem. with Russian and English lyrics. It seems appropriate for the game. I'm not ignoring the jingle jingle. It hasn't done its job yet. Rev, thanks for the 2555. I appreciate it. Let's just nibble nibble. Thank you, Rev. I wanted to read the lyrics, but I don't really care about the music. Russia, our holy nation. Russia, our beloved country. This seems repetitive already. What makes it so special? Does it really start to rock anthem or something? A mighty will, great glory. These are yours for all time. I mean, it sounds like the intro to like an old Disney movie. Yo, the Russian National Anthem has 30 million views on YouTube. That's pretty tight. Popular wisdom given by our forebears? It's a tough line there. From southern seas to polar lands. Everybody's land's protected by God. I mean, the music kind of slaps. Some of these words are like longer than a sentence. Age old union of fraternal people. Popular wisdom given by our forebearers. Errs. Errs. I found it too fast. What should you know about fishing line color in this game? It's irrelevant. It's fucking long though, bro. Be glorious, our country. We are proud of you. Why is it so goddamn long? Is that in the game? Or is it the next national anthem? As far as I know, line has no effect on fishing. I mean, it's Russian fishing, so we don't really know anything 100%. But, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure devs have said no impact. Did they? I wonder if I should switch that back to a floral leader since I'm hoping a buffalo will bite it again. 
But our thing for the four years. Yeah, some fish, uh, I just learned the other night that apparently carp fishing, you're supposed to use a braid leader, not a floral leader, because floral's got such a big diameter, and they don't care to see it. They don't want to feel big, thick line in their mouth. Really? No. I mean, I think it makes sense for everything but pop-up. You just learned right now? Yeah, I didn't. It definitely seems to help yesterday. I was having a lot of, I was running floral leaders and I was having a lot of fish that would bang, 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 and then disappear and leave. Was it? Yeah, I switched to braid leaders and wasn't having that problem anymore. That's pretty tight, Blake. For the guy below him. Stupid rain all day. All day with the rain. It's gonna rain again tomorrow. It's warming up though. It must only rain through the night. That's what I'm gonna hope. Two percent. Less than one point nine percent. We're gonna get there. I'm about to throw out a cock chafer. Will something eat a cock chafer in here, hardcore? I just want an excuse to use them. I dig them up all the time. Kath would eat a cock chafer. Tom Tench. Let's try a cock chafer. I have exactly 300 though. Break it. Let's use a... Uh, where'd it go? Oh, I threw out my last buffalo question mark. Silver question mark? Let's use that one. Just real, just double the speed. Uh, no, I don't think it's double. It's faster. Oh, wait, you said the larva myth. You think the actual beetle. This here, cock chafer. Nah, I threw a larva, dude. It's gonna get me a sturgeon. Oh no, my perch. They've gone bad. 3%. There's still time for you.
donk them. Nine items. Not throwing away my entire inventory like some people do. Yeah, like, meat's not bad, Blake. You're basically describing, like, a burger wrap. Throw some ketchup on that bitch. I accidentally made tacos out of uh, breakfast sausage once, and those were fucking weird. I also accidentally made spaghetti with breakfast sausage once. Blake, I think you need an eight and a half kilo setup first. Because you're gonna bl lose your mind. No, like ground breakfast sausage you're gonna lose your mind with your tiny little reel trying to get to 15k or a 15 and a half kilogram reel not jimmy deans it was his name was red he was a good pig but uh they were supposed to give me a bunch of ground pork and a bunch of ground sausage but instead, it was all breakfast sausage, which was unfortunate. Because ain't nobody eating that much. Oof, rod broken. Eating that much breakfast sausage. I mean, I would go for the 8.5k. But that's still going to be, you're probably going to be wanting two of them. Corey's not really great for a single rod. There are some guys are doing okay casting and retrieving on Corey, but it's pretty fucking uncommon being like like one in a thousand uncommon. Like, I have one Arctic char that barely breaks 10 kilos, and I've fished that motherfucker for hundreds of hours. We did this the other day, and I was really bad at finding the fish that are on... I do not have a quarry char above 10 kilos. That's not even from quarry. Not 10. And my rainbow trout is nowhere near 10. That's not the average. No, that's those are my biggest ever of those species. Average is like probably I mean the true average of Cory is probably like a kilo. The Cory Lake trout on my trophy card is eleven three. Okay, yeah, so. I have like two fish in hundreds of hours there over 10 kilos. If you don't count perches, etc., yeah, etc., you're probably still looking at like a two kilo average because you catch a ton of small lake trout, small char. I mean, unless you unless you are the type of person who's only gonna fish like really big lures with slow bite rate and chase giants, but that won't be the way you'll troll it with eight and a half kilo reel. They will, yeah, I agree that you will have 
some fights on your hand, but you're in a boat and you can land them. But the issue that Blake has is Blake is currently like level 15 with starter gear. So they need to <coughs> they need to work their way up, I think. Because at level all that halfway to level 18, they have accomplished nothing. There's no nice way to say that. But they've had some serious problems with figuring out setups and learning the basics. But being, don't you also have like the most lures of anyone? <laughs> so you should understand what it's like to just spend your money poorly. Yeah, carp rod is a better feeder rod. But what lures is hardcore using, Euro? I don't think hook size is super important on lures, except in the scenario of keeping like certain sizes on the hook. I don't know how much everyone else will disagree with me on that topic, but. Yeah, you're using balsa minnow, dodger, wolf crank. You're using spinners, which size six, size eight is pretty adequate for a three gram spinner. I thought you were ultralight fishing hardcore. I think small hooks have a higher pop-off rate. Like, you'll lose a fish reeling it in on like, small hooks, especially fishing bigger fish. Like, I really felt like I noticed that on, like, Arky and places like that. Oh, you just... I thought you were sitting there casting retrieving your ultralight. Is Ulf this little fucker? I never have any luck with that dumb thing. Ever. This one was really good for me back in the day. Or I haven't tried it in forever. But it was my hero. It's got most of my Cory trophies. I don't think I've ever broke a hook. I don't know anything about crayfish fishing. I just catch them on accident. He did get his inventory back. And it is just slowed to a crawl. I did take some of my algae off, but whatever. Might be time to stick and move. I'll throw some night crawlers somewhere and see what happens. Mm. 
<clears throat> Wait and see if this rain's gonna go away. White eyed bream. No. I've never even seen that spoon. A fish? I have caught a fish. Oh. Turns out I'm bream fishing after all. Peg, it's a Archie. You'll find a fight there. Yeah, the rain is gone. Are you a buffalo? It stopped there too. It's been raining fucking here forever. Talking and fishing. What are you? You're not a buffalo, you're a tench. Lots of things do eat these bugs. I would not have guessed. Stop it. Let's try double down on the bugs. I know I'll regret it, but bugs. Oh, that hook's too big for a bug. Oh, yeah, that's a really big hook. <laughs> With one corn on it. What about a cabbage leaf? This is not the starter lake, no. You have seen this one in a while. You just haven't seen this part of it. This is the lake I'm at more than any lake. Well, second most. I'm just in this pond. Nelmas? That's jealous. I want to catch Nelmas. Whip a wheel, whip a wheel. Fucking stupid ass bird. Seriously, give me a gun. It's really loud when you find the bird origin spot. Did they ever add any more, like... No, not really, huh? I don't know why they don't add more free design ground baits. It's pretty rude. Well, I can make a Tench one? It probably sucks. I'm gonna make it. 10 out of 10. I already had some. Oh, ah! Uh, duck, thank you for the 76 months. Hmm. 
think there's a fish on there. Oh! I've yet to get a buffalo to eat the algae. Being a homeowner is expensive. It is, yeah. That's why I, I'm putting mine up for sale Monday. Is that a common carp? or going back to running? I don't know yet. We'll see if I can sell it. That'll be the first step. Oh, it was a leak, common carp. Yeah, I just can't afford it anymore, so I don't really have much option. I've tried to figure it out, but uh, yeah, I don't want to work 60 hours a week again. I should have done it like six months ago when the market was hotter, but we'll see. Fingers crossed I can at least get out from under it. Well, not everyone can afford a mortgage duck or wants to be locked into it. I mean, 800 more than the mortgage is... Uh, not really that much in the grand scheme of things with wear and tear and remodel costs. Oh, that fucker popped off there. Shit. That thing slammed. Thought it was good to go. But it's not necess it's not a guaranteed investment. I think that's a little misleading. <laughs> I'm with you. I mean, like, for the most part, I just think that it's not always the best option. Not for everyone. That's why many, many, many people have lost their ass in their, in homes and been wildly upside down. You're going to see it here in the next few years for sure. It's going to be hundreds of thousands, millions of people upside down in their mortgage.
then it's not really an investment though. <laughs> then it's a gamble. I think by definition investments are supposed to be profitable. Somewhere along the lines, we change that term. But I mean, that, that's, you don't have any control over the housing market, your area. I guess you control when you buy and sell to a degree. Yeah, I don't know. Something bit of cabbage leaf. But we do use the term invest a lot for gambles, like invest in silver, invest in gold. Like, those are just gambles. <laughs> Might as well invest in fucking beanie babies. Invest in stock, yeah. Though most, like, investment firms, you're pretty likely to profit in long term, which they are, that's their goal for you is, like, a crazy duration. And you could say the same thing about sit and go poker, duck. Or, I mean, a cash table poker. Or blackjack. You can just get up and walk away. Oh, that's what you mean by control over buy and sell. When you sell, I guess. Sure. If you can afford to keep it. And maintain it and that's the problem with house right like it's not just it's not just buy a house sit on it wait for the market to be good sell it right you have to maintain it keep it up to date pay taxes though i do still believe that the majority of the time property is a fine investment using the term loosely i would still say a fine gamble Not right now. Sorry to anyone who bought a home this year. Well, if you got the super low, like one half percent interest rate, like you probably you probably end up end up upside down in your mortgage, but at least your payment's super fucking low, so you're like stable for a long time. Yeah, and I mean every all that shit has a lifespan, even if you're not using it. You know, your your roof still has a lifespan if you're not using it. Window siding. put a renter in there and cut that lifespan of everything inside dramatically.
I'm not like not against home ownership. I've owned one, two, three, four homes. I think there, if anything, if you really want to call them an investment in anything, like it's an investment in your uh, future as far as like your stability for your future, especially if you can lock yourself into something cheap or get something paid off in a reasonable amount of time, knowing you've got that reliable roof over your head is, uh, you know, that's an investment to me more than the financial the potential financial gain of it Yeah, I owned a house free and clear once. It was a cool thing. Then I made a terrible decision to go bigger. And sell it for profit. Just save cash. Not everyone can though, hardcore. I mean, like in a lot, like I said, if you bought this year with that low interest rate, I mean, people were getting into houses for fucking six hundred, seven hundred dollars a month. You can't rent for that anywhere. Yeah, I'm I'm with you there, Duck. I agree with that one. Two point six. Yeah, that's good, man. Though it's like so good, I wouldn't even be that excited about paying it off early. I'd just like... <laughs> yeah, dude. It was a... Uh, I don't know. At the time, it wasn't a mistake. Like, it's easy to look back at something and say it's a mistake now. But at the time, selling my house made sense for the plans we had. Unless you didn't have that extra 300 bucks. But then you could probably found something cheaper. I just hate that people think it's like always an option for everybody. And there's a lot of people who have unfortunately fucked up in their life. $1,500 for one bedroom. Whew. Yeah, it's pretty crazy here even. Because uh, houses here are still like under 200 grand regularly. And rent is still... I just saw her... A woman today says she pays nine fifty to rent her trailer in a trailer park. Which, like, those were four hundred dollars six years ago. They nearly doubled like across the country. I don't know globally if it had the same effect, but across the country. But the problem with va doubling of a home's value, big big bursts like that, is you can't replace it. Which is why property is a really weird one. If you're not buying additional properties, like, or doing like Ape who said he did, and selling it and just going back to being a renter. Like, if your house tripled in value in the last three years, so what? Because if you sell yours, you're only going to be able to buy the same house somewhere else. Did you really profit if you need a home? Did you really profit?
Nah, dude, just a regular old trailer. Like, on paper, it looks like you profited, but when you decide you need a new home again, you didn't. Later, bro. Yeah, but how do you do that if you only have one home, Blake, right? Like, that's the, that's the problem everyone, a lot of people are going through. That so many people wanted to sell their house when they, knowing that they that probably never see their home at that value again. But what do you do while you wait for the market to crash? That's what I'm going to want to do hardcore. I'm just going to move in with my parents. Rent? I mean, yeah, but you... Yeah, we just went over our rent super expensive. Yeah, JDM. That's what I did the first time, too. My first... Well, no. My first house was 69. My second house was 22. That was the real fixer upper. That's, I did that for a while too, JDM. And then we ended up back together. Good luck. And then not back together. Good luck. <laughs> oh wait, your your girls. I thought you meant like your kids. When, I'm an I'm a parent, so when we say girls now, we mean our children. You mean your lady's mom. And you're probably not gonna hook up with your girlfriend's mom, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, just my parent brain kicked in. Girls doesn't mean the same thing anymore to me, especially with a daughter. I did get it. Thank you, bro. But my bite has gone to shit. I thought the sun was going to help. I think it's time to move on. Those wild carp look like they were super slow for you, Brop. Was that just the way it looked, or were they? They were only hot at night. I'm going to try potatoes again. Because I was getting some wild carps. Let's just get weird, mix it up. Yeah, so far from here. Maybe a night crawler. I know I was catching wild carp in here, but I think you're right, it was at night even in here. But yeah, selling my house not exactly the wasn't what I wanted to do, but I've been trying and trying to delay it. But since Kim left, I, I've just been going backwards, man. I just cannot figure out how I'm going to be able to swing it anymore. And like before it's too late and I end up losing it, I'll just try to get out from under it. Hopefully I can. Will be nice. Except I'll lose my fiber internet because it's only on this side of my town. Womp womp womp.
I gotta go back to Comcast, yay. Yeah, I'm, I get gig speed right now for 109 or 119, one of the two, which is amazing for what I was paying. I was paying $300 a month to Comcast for 250 500 We don't even have AT&T option out here anymore. They just stopped offering an AT&T option. So that's why Comcast can kind of just do what they want. Yeah, we it was Comcast for me. My power company went through. We had this big winter storm that knocked out a ton of lines, so they redid all their lines, and when the power company did that, they added their own fiber internet because apparently they'd been paying Comcast to, like, monitor outages with their fiber. So they're like, fuck that, we'll just install our own and then let our customers use it. Which was tight. I just got out of my Comcast contract too. Fucking like six months ago. It took forever. Because the only way to keep Comcast around here from throttling you is to get business class and then they require a contract yep and they're dumb um so i was paying like i said i was paying 300 dollars a month under a contract with comcast and i called them on to cancel and uh i in order to cancel i would have to pay the remainder of my bill 300 dollars a month for x amount of months and i was i was gonna do it because fuck them i wanted to be done with it and they're like, or we can reduce your speeds to our slowest speed and charge you $90 a month for the remainder of the time. And I was like, well, what if I just pay you $90 a month now to cancel? No, we can't do that. So wait, you will give me service for 90 bu but I can't just, all right. I guess they value customers really high. Someone that worked at Comcast in chat once explained it to me. Like, keeping customers is super important to them and, like, their, their numbers and stuff like that. So they'd rather get, provide you the service because it actually costs them, like, nothing than lose you as a customer even though they're losing money in the long run. they're gaining money elsewhere from having a solid customer number. Is that on there? Yeah. Yeah, most places that, at least here in the States, that offer, like, blah de blah de blah 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 a month, super good deal for signing up, have a two-year contract.
Or it's one year promotional deal ends and then they charge you more. Yeah, yeah. After the promotional deal ends. I need to call Comcast actually about TV. Fifty up is the maximum in Germany. I mean, that's plenty. Fifty up. Cobalt and I used to both stream from his house on twenty up. You know, I mean, uh, fifty up is is pretty overkill. Honestly, the down is great, but the uh, up is it's just unneeded. Yeah, it does troll a tiny bit faster, crazy. Yeah, dude, I'd give I'd sacrifice a fuck ton of up speed for just uh up up time. <laughs> I think the better boat's always worth it. The other one's so fucking slow getting around. I think you just lose money. Unless you're on a really small... I don't think the little boat's offered on a lot of small lakes, though. It's just such an irrelevant amount of money. The only place where I think... No, because even on arches, it's only like 15 bucks difference. I, for, I always forget that. God, my head is pounding. I got a fucking fishing tournament in three hours I gotta leave for. Second to last one of the year. Never been to this lake before. And the queen died, so who knows how the fish are biting. Drink water? I just did. But I'm going to drink another one just to see. Just gonna make me pee. Do you have the world's strongest bladder? World's tiniest pee hole, strongest bladder. All right, night crawler, ain't it? Just need the bite rate to pick back up. Why is holding your pee bad for you? I feel like it should strengthen your fucking pee holding muscle. Yeah, it is. But I don't know why. It feels like everything else, like, 
working it out is good. An infection thing. Oh, really? I just assume that thing's always got a little pee in it. Is that all it's bad for your bladder? Like a chance for bladder infections? The way they make it sound, it's like you're going to end up ruined. Which is, I mean, like, yeah, but. Knock on wood, I don't think I've ever had a bladder infection. Sometimes I wake up at like 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm like, man, I got to pee. And then I go back to bed, and I wake up at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm like, yeah, it's time to pee. Alright, now that sounds worse, Delaroff. I don't know what voiding dysfunction is, but... That sounds worse than a little bacteria. Maybe the grass carp are back. It's a lack of coordination between the bladder muscle and the urethra, so you piss yourself. I feel like you're getting, you're taking a long way to get to, you're going to pee yourself. I don't want to pee myself. I don't want to wear diapers. Maybe like, if I have to sit on bleachers, they'd be comfy. Urine leakage. Hmm. Holy shit, my head hurts. I guess I gotta take drugs. The combo sounds really bad. Accidentally leaking blood. Go. Go. A lot of people see the world as the way it is ruined, and uh, it's normal, which it is normal. What you're explaining is normal. Does that not make it trapping? No. <laughs> Oh. 
boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe the grass eater back. Maybe we just hard switch back to algae. That one buffalo got me so excited, though. It was a buffalo and then a good tench. Hey, a tench. Absolutely hardcore. Well, that's a Caspian roach. Blame the hair in my eyes. Ooh, loaded with worms there. Yeah, you gotta pick unique places to dig once in a while just to see. What if it's the special one? Five rhino larva. Oh, I still forgot I was gonna start scooping. But I shouldn't anyway. Maybe alternate between the two. Every other one. I'll never keep track. Scoop is uh, unfortunately not that useful. I guess it has some mid tier uses. You do use the larvas a lot more than you do the worms mid tier. Not bad, logger. How you doing? Yeah, diving beetle I haven't used, but and that's super late. Camping at Amber. I'm two percent from bottom fishing at a hundred. That's all I'm trying to grind, man. Just ran running around fishing random species, trying to get skill ups. Or one point nine actually now. We've got uh, point three or four today. A Fritz box? What a fun name. Come here, you dumb grassy. There's a tiny fish on this. Who knows for how long? No wonder it didn't do anything. Oh, 
100% on all? I don't want to know how many hours that is. Oh, I had swapped this. Whoops. Way too mid. I would assume so. You're still not 100% all, right, Hardcore? No, you are now. Yeah, 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 you are. Cook and lure making. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the fishing ones, the ones that matter. 11,000 hours? That's a couple. How many hours are you at, Hardcore? Because you're about the same level. For reference, chat, I'm level 36. The man who's level 46 has earned more experience to get from 36, by far more experience to get to 36. Or to 46, and it took me to get 36. It's like... It, actually, I think one level at your level is as much as I've earned total, right? I'm at 52 million. Yeah, I think you're close to needing 52 million to level at 40-something. Yeah, look at that comparison. Level 43, 3,600 hours. Level 46, 11,000 hours. Eight thousand more hours and only three more levels. Well, not quite. So we'll, so we'll give him the benefit of the doubt that he's low 11,000. 7,000 more hours. I have 1,100 hours. I'll never catch hardcore in time. I don't level, I don't grind good. If you're 11,000 hours, how many fucking hours are uh, are these guys at, huh? 17,000 hours. Right? It's day, an hour is just a full, or a day is just a full hour, right? He ain't even caught anything that big. <laughs> I like this, though. Twenty five thousand hours. That's got to just be so much idle, it's insane. This guy's flying. This guy's a speed demon. He's managed it in only 13,000 hours. 
It shows, oh yeah, it shows the days. I like clicking them though to see what they catch. I find it shocking how many of them haven't gone after a big sturgeon. Like, this motherfucker hasn't even broke 100 kilos in 18,000 hours. This guy, how'd he do it? Never broke nothing. Four rare trophies. Uh, that could have been it, I guess. Yeah, spend a bunch of money to buy gear would accelerate you quite a bit. Couple of speedy guys there. That dude at four thousand hours though is like way ahead of the norm. Like way ahead. Oh here's one more. I mean, it's still like way ahead, <laughs> I think, JDM personally. You'd have to be. I guess it also could just be the difference of somebody who is like full time premium in reality. I bet I know like hardcore doesn't run premium constantly anymore. I I don't know about like logger here. But once you have all your skill ups max, premium really loses its value. All right, I gotta move. I don't know where I wanna go though. This fucking headache has just got me totally disoriented. Ugh. Sending people stuff, yeah. <laughs> Being able to send shit. But you can do that like one day at a time kind of deal, or three days at a time kind of deal. I don't know, I still think it's impressive, JDM, regardless of how much gear you bought to cut the hours in half. That still means you're focused on leveling, like, a lot. 
and to be that focused on leveling for 5,000 hours is pretty bonkers. Stupid ass bottom fishing. Hardcore, give me something interesting to chase. Come on. You're my guy, man. Something something to go grind on. Good night, Rav. Thank you for the money. Fishing up whales, pretty much. They'll bite on the bottom? That's something I definitely haven't bottom fished. Yeah, yeah, no, bottom. I, I want to get my bot. I need two point or one point nine percent. Grassies have stopped giving me skill ups. I need to switch fish. I don't think ruffles will be that useful for me. I've caught millions of them. Can't change my boots. Siberian sterlet and a mercats. Okay, where's that at? That's like right behind me, ain't it? Ain't that right here? Where's that Tunguska? Yeah. They're probably not biting right now. What is that? Cockchafer larva? Will they do shit without PVA? I feel like you're sending me down the... I should have had a PVA path again. Sherpa me. I'll try it. I'll waste some silver. I ain't made no money in two days anyway. Yeah, I want this DLC add-on. You got a ground bait recipe or a PVA recipe? I'm already at Tunguska. Or lake minnows. What? Tried some lake minnows. Where am I throwing? It didn't feel like it, Double. I tried that yesterday. I definitely gained more today catching grass carp in small numbers on a happy hour than I did yesterday catching crucian and gibbles on a happy hour. There's a 12 here. I got a boat. This is getting expensive. What about ground bait? Got any idea? Should I run something? Nothing? Everything? Yes. Helpful. Where are we starting? Tutti fruity feed pellets? Is that the one? Uh, Rapeseed? I think I have rapeseed. One of these says the word rape in it. Just kidding. Oh, I'm in additives. 
That makes sense. Zebra mussels. These zebra mussels. I have these. Dried creel. I'm sure I have chopped worms, right? Clay. Crab and mussel attack attractant. You like crayfish attractant. Well, I can't do all the attractants. Wait, is it crayfish or crab and mussel? Uh oh, uh oh, hardcore. They're saying, all right, we'll do both. Crayfish. Crab and mussel. Additives cray. There's no cray. You dead. Craw, craw, craw. It's sometimes cray, sometimes craw. You never know. You'd add some pellets in there, huh? All right, I'll do one with the pellets. Should I double down on the pellets then? All right, I'll do hardcores first. God, it gets so annoying to go through this. Clay, he said. Zebras. Nope. Oh, yep. That's fine. I forgot to put an attractant on it. No. All right. Nuts. Amur. Do you start with rape nuts? Depends on what they're biting, and clay just makes it last longer in the water. Okay, so you start with rape still? All right. Give me your list. I know you want crayfish. The crayfish stank. What am I cutting here? Zebra krill. Cut the zebra. Cut the chopped worm. Krill. This one. Maybe you wanted the other one, but that's the one we get. And then cut the clay, because we don't need that, just makes it last longer. Or is that it? Oh, I need crayfish pellets. Oh, he wants me to use those. Zebra. Got it. Krill. Got it. Chopped worm. Don't got it. Drop the pellets. Wait a minute. I thought you told me to get the pellets. Oh, I had two krill. Oh, is it? It was craw. 
That's where we got fucked up again. You said Cray, it's Craw. This is it. This is what you wanted? This is the nuts of mer? Yes. Gotta get a boat. Didn't sell my fish. Get out of here, fish. Who's renting boats in this bitch? I haven't been here in forever. I'll use that one. Well, I don't have... Now you done fucked me all up. Where do you want me to... I'll pull a crayfish tail out of my booty? Wait for being to destroy all his? Or not being, uh, dreams? I'll still try it. Just for fun. Who knows? I ain't bought the big ass knife yet. I'm cheap. Put a, sometimes I put a crayfish in my booty. We're at in the 12 meter hole. Do we care? Or just any old place? Feel like down here is probably more the actual 12 meter hole. 138, 88, 35 clip. Nuts. What size hook? That is probably close enough. I don't think I have a single tail. No. You're getting a cock chafer. Nuts on one. We got nuts on one. I have no idea, Ellie. I won't make any money when I sell my home, so we'll have to solve that problem when we get to it. seems large, but we'll throw it for now until Hardcore yells at me. I shouldn't eat that hard. That's bouncing back really bad. Hey, fish. Let's uh, take a place to put them, Blake. Brain, thank you for the six month, not six, 91, six months. I already cast it out. Fuck it, I'll throw it out on this one too. I don't think you can throw that big motherfucker, can you? Nuts on one and three. That's not it. Dude, my head is 
just pounding and making me so confused with what I'm doing. Why don't I see nuts? I guess it won't let me use it again. Weird. No, it definitely named it because I picked it for the other one. Yeah, I got it right there. Did your money break again? That's unfortunate. So we'll just switch nuts over to the right one when we reel it in. Or the cra I know what I'm saying. Don't worry about it. Oh, did I already put it on there? Is that why? Yeah. Dude, my, me my, my head is just a mess. Listen, I don't care if it's breaking this rod. Zing it. Oh, it barely makes it. Rubbinger's dad is John T. Twitch. Yes, a shovel. Got to dig up your worms. Oh man, crayfish tail popping off. Look how much shorter those two lines fell. Because I smashed them into the bouncy bounce it didn't actually catch a fish it was a lie oh wait yes it did It's a tiny stirlet. That's itty fucking bitty, isn't it? What a cute little bastard. What size of those are you do that are like good? What's the target size? Is that nuts again? Okay. No, it was just the weight settling. They trophy at nine. Okay. So like five plus decent buck. I don't know that I'd ever caught one before. It would have made a noise if I hadn't caught one, wouldn't it? I just can't even click the right buttons. I had on a lake minnow.
Don't catch those. I do have the best sturgeon reel in the game out there, according to a level 24 user who felt the need to message me. You got one of the, like, last box cafe orders? Those are the ones that you never get. That's impressive. It's probably in the northern part of Michigan where there's nothing, Blake. Michigan's a huge state. Nah, Flint wouldn't be that cheap, I wouldn't guess. There's a five kilogram Amur in the cafe. Oh, buddy. Yeah, I don't know what that is. On the map. If it's north of Grand Rapids, it's probably not worth shit. Or if it's in downtown Detroit. Yeah, they did. You could get houses for a dollar in Detroit. Yeah, there's a few like that, Bortz. There's 50 kilogram taming on Balea that's never been caught. Michigan? Isn't that why you were looking in Michigan? Uh oh. Oh, that's not that big. Maybe not that big. Not that big. Michigan is a very vague. I'm in southwest Michigan now. It's pretty cheap here. It's going up a lot though. No. I'm not beside Ontario. That's where you were just looking. Gold never fire thing for the 49 months. I'm closer to Chicago than I am to Detroit. Is that just a big catfish? That was a weird move. Yeah, there's a tunnel from Detroit to Canada. Oh, so it's just a sturgeon? It touches in like the fur the furthest south of Michigan. We're surrounded by water, you see, we're what's called a peninsula. <laughs> it's 
So we touch Canada in the southern bit. Like nearly the bottom of Michigan, I think, where it touches Canada. And I am very south. I'm like 40 minutes from the Indiana border. Which is uh, a lot different than what people ex think Michigan is. There's at least this sturgeon here. He's not that big, though. He's moving at me. Oh, are you here with me? Hmm. Seems dangerous out here, huh? I like danger. What the fuck's the emblem? Oh, his tongue out. I didn't realize it had a name. A special name. I've got an HSV out there right now. It's ready. I think I have the crayfish tail on the HSV too, just to mix it up. That's the sound it makes. Mlem. Uh, there's a rule in this channel, and I'd appreciate if everyone follows it. Words that have four vowels in a row are not allowed. Thank you. No names from Wisconsin, please. He got stronger. I gotta pee now. That water finally hit. Is a ledge you gotta drag him over out there? Oh, that sounds nice. I 
didn't notice it with the stirlet. They really need to smooth those off a little bit. I fished off a lot of deep ledges and lakes and never like felt the fish snag on it. You know, fish tend to swim, not just <laughs> into the edge of a cliff. We just talked about the rule. You're banned now. As soon as I'm done with this fish. Oh yeah, he's getting it. bad at counting. How is that five in a row? <laughs> How do y'all play tic-tac-toe? Do you skip over squares? T or S is a vowel now. Both, actually. Blake really doesn't understand in a row at all. Just doesn't get it. And <laughs> sometimes T and S. And we confirmed it was the T. All right, this fish was almost there. Yeah, I'm still fighting this thing. It's like just big enough to be annoying, but not big enough to run. It was just second fish Blue tag, Siberian sterlet, and I can just go to bed. What else is just big enough to be annoying? My nut sack. You too, Dell? below me in my seat above the toilet water why is the bite right here better than fucking crucian carbs was yesterday The, s the other, the actual sturgeon here must look very similar to the sterlet, huh? 
Either that or I'm a lucky. Yeah. going on with that fish? I don't know. I didn't ask him. I'm sorry. Listen. No burbots. Burbot free zone. Hardcore, how many is that for you? Is that three already? It seems like a pretty, like you're making money over there. I gotta piss. Nice char, Hira. Is that PB fish for you? Oh, did you get 9k? Hope that wasn't on your 7k run. I'm gonna go for a boat ride. No, I'm not. Does that uh, fucking... I'm going to do it anyway, because it's fun. I'll never use 58 of these. Might as well yeet some out there. You'd think it would have zero impact because of current, but it's a video game, dude. This motherfucker just slamming the resturgeon. Fucking PVA hacks. Boat ride. Uh, 
Ah, oh, my summer car. Hey, I caught a small surlet. No emerge though. And now I just left. I just took off. Peaced out. Let me go hang out in town. Find one of those Russian bears on a unicycle. Where's the cafe here? This looks like a cafe for sure. Nothing good. I didn't pay attention to what the price tag was on that Emmer. Emmers are more night. I guess that makes sense. By the time I get back, I'll have a spooled rod. 540. That's okay. It's no trophy whitefish. God, my head is killing me. I've tried uh, about everything I can think of besides just... I got nothing. Lights? I guess I could try turning the light off. But I'm staring at a computer screen. Mm. It off too. Play by sense of smell. My glasses have a blue light filter, but I don't run one on my monitor. I wish that I could see without my glasses on. Because that feels like the biggest relief right now. But I am blind. Hardcore, you stole all my fish. Like it might be getting dark. Night Bort. One sturgeon, one sturlet, one burbot. Neither. Peanuts suck. The worst nut is the peanut. I 
I haven't had a tiger nut, unfortunately. On your single rod with a night crawler? That's funny. Oof, man, I don't know. I might have to dip early, chat. I am fucking aching. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I gotta turn him. I gotta turn him in. We start at seven, but it's an hour and a half drive. So, and my buddy always likes to be like a fucking hour early. So, that's why I gotta stay up anyway. I really thought the ibuprofen would help, but no. Or whatever that was, Tylenol, something. Fuck, it was probably allergy medicine. Who knows? Doesn't get dark in this fucking area until real late, huh? Yeah, chat. I'm going to bounce. I'm sorry. I wanted to stream till I had to leave, but I'm going to go lay down for a bit and see if I can make my head stop hurting. Uh, if it does, I might come back because I don't got anything to do but hang out anyway. I apologize. I'll do my best. 